LPG gang was heading. What's up, y'all? Let's see what's going on with you. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you and your situation. If you need a personal reading, check the description box, you guys. Love, peace, a genesis, a dot com. Okay, so this kept falling out when I was shuffling this. So I was like, you know what? Spirit was like, take it. I'm going to take it, okay? Um, hit those likes, hit those likes, hit those likes, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell. All right. So thank you for being here. It is always appreciated. Leave a comment. Let me know if it's your first time here. Let me know if it's your second, your third, your fourth. Let me know. All right. So I don't know what's going on with you collective, but, um, this is the goddess Bridget and it's don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. So I kind of touched on this yesterday in yesterday's read about was it yesterday's read when I was talking about you guys, there may be something that you need to stand up for yourself uh, or something like that. It was very briefly, though. Um, but, yeah, I want to pull out the book and read this. And then we have Mother Mary here on the bottom, which is expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. OK, so let's see what's in the book. And y'all know if you've seen it use this deck before, how small these words are in this book um so y'all gonna have to bear with me with these any uh but um hold on y'all i ain't got no i don't have my glasses either no nope, they're not up here okay so let's see you know. all right so what's the message from uh, bridget first be quite clear about your intentions if you're unclear then confusion will lessen your power and force Light a candle in the dark. Be very clear and bright in what is acceptable to you in this situation. Make no mistake. I will guide and protect you. And yet, think of the unparalleled rise of your own viewpoint. If you are to stand up for yourself and to speak up about your needs and your deepest truth, now is the time to touch your power, for its heat and flame will ignite your passion which will propel you forward in countless ways. Even in the face of fear, you can still stand up for your ideals and your truth. Be unwavering and make you stand and, and make your stand today. Okay, so interesting collective. You have something coming up. I don't think I've ever seen this one either. Um, so various meanings of this card is be assertive. Don't worry about what other people think. I know I've been seeing that a lot in the readings. Trust that your actions will work out fine. Speak your truth. Stick to your opinions and put your foot down. What's happening? So um, I'll just skim over. You you guys can Google Bridget and what kind of uh, goddess she is and if you need to create an altar for her or any offerings if you want to tap in. Okay. Um, she represents three aspects of woman. The young virgin, the nurturing and loving mother, and the crone, sage, wise woman. Bridget is a fiery god goddess who tirelessly protects those who call upon her. She's a feminine car counterpart to Archangel Michael's warrior energy. Okay. So, all right, let's see what is going on here. So you may be born in February. She is celebrated in February. Okay. So 333 when I looked over. So let's see what's going on here um collective because it's something that you kind of have to stand up for yourself on you're going to have to place some boundaries yeah eight of cups five of swords yep interesting you're going to have to stand your ground about something collective i'm seeing the hermit here in the five of cups i'm seeing the seven of swords here as well so hold on guys let me there we go i'm seeing that um Five of Cups in the Hermit here. So, yeah, I feel like some of you guys might be in some type of, like, regret because you didn't say something that you wanted to say. Or this is Spirit saying that if you don't say what you're wanting to say, uh, there'll be regrets. Okay, Three of Swords. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, page, of, page of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, you do got to say something. Oh, man. Collective, collective, collective. LPG gang. Look. <laughs> There's something here you do got to speak up on. Sometimes the three of swords can be about, like, harsh truths. I just explained this in the Gemini reading. Um, it can be about harsh truths. And I feel like you need to, like, really lay it out for someone. 
um and i mean really get down through there with someone because um it, i feel like it'll it'll ultimately work out for you in the end oh lord this kind of resonates a little bit a little bit page of cups here uh two of swords four of swords king of pentacles why do i keep seeing that of course it's a collective reading that's why <laughs> Some of you are Tauruses, Earth signs. Um, the person you want to talk to is that sign. But yeah, I'm seeing there's a need for you to like really, 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 uh, I don't want to say get on somebody's ass, but like that's what I'm going to say. Um, or you could just be telling someone some type of truth about themselves. Um, it could be someone is immature and you may need to tell them that. But after the fact, though, I feel like it'll it'll be a positive outcome. So like you telling someone, some, telling somebody about themselves or um, opening up about your truth, I feel like it is, um, it's going to work out for you in the end, whether it's with that person or whether it is like going forward. So here's an example. Say you're, you were in some type of situationship, right? Because I wouldn't even say like relationship, but you guys ended and there was a lot left unsaid and i feel like whatever it is this unsaid needs to be said because i feel like especially with this eight of cups here you need to kind of do something differently than what you've done before um you know and we we're in heavy in this era of like just cutting people off or whatever the case may be um but i feel like in this case don't just don't just cut somebody off yet i feel like get some stuff off your chest and then cut them off if that's what you choose to do. But I feel like don't leave a lot unsaid um, before you move forward. Because it's something that somebody needs to hear. Um, and it's, it doesn't do you any good harboring a lot um, of resentment. And yep, Six of Cups, yeah. This, is, this could be something that has to do with the past. Two of Cups, yeah, yeah. Yep. So once you get it all out, you can move forward. Some of this is a love situation yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> page of pentacles six of sources i told you i told you i love it i love it this six here with the three is like i said whatever you say is going to be healing it might be harsh at first okay it might be a little uh they may not take it well at first knight of pentacles it may take them a little bit to like get over it but yeah, Ace of Wands here on the bottom. It's something needs to be said. You, you need to be the one to, to say it. You need to be the one to um, get it all out. Okay? And don't be afraid to like really, really, really like let somebody have it. Like, of course, you don't have to be mean or nasty about it. But it's, it's a truth that needs to come out. Okay? So say someone is uh inconsistent or say somebody is um a liar or whatever i feel like whatever you you say to this person excuse me is it something that they have heard from other people or is it's not something that they hear often it's like you picked up there's an eight of cups again being left behind mm-hmm and the hermit yeah mm-hmm like, I feel like whatever you say is ultimately going to lead to some healing. Like, it's it's not going to stay, uh, it won't stay um, in, in any type of turmoil, uh, if that makes sense. Collective. Someone may have a hard time, like, being accountable, too, uh, for their actions. This could also be to you guys, the emperor. Yeah, thank you. This is confirmation. This could be someone too that you could have walked away from that is going to be coming back with a vengeance and getting some stuff off their chest, like uh, some things that, that may be hard for them to say uh, to you. So, you know, take it how it resonates because for some of you, this is going to be somebody coming in and not backing down. Like if you, if they come in and they want to reconcile or you may have, uh, that you guys start off on the wrong foot or there was a misunderstanding. I feel like this person's not going to back down, um, from saying whatever they have to say. So take it out and with you. I, I'm getting someone maybe a little childish, 
um, and a little immature. So try to avoid that collective. Like try to be uh, as mature as possible when, when getting this message out. Wow, wow, wow. King of Swords could be an Aquarius or you are. Four of Wands, yes. Ten of Cups, yes. Six of Cups again. So this is definitely something. Something in the past needs to be brought back up. <clears throat> and y'all know I don't hardly ever say that, but there is something from the past that needs to be addressed. So you can move forward, collective. Like you, you need to get something out. Um, and until you do, it'll it'll kind of harbor. And this, I feel like whatever this is, you already know what it is. You're not gonna have to think about it or try to figure it out. I feel like you already know, and I feel like you're you have a pattern here where you um, you just move on, like you don't. You don't say anything. And I know they say that. They say, um, you know, the best answer is to just uh, walk away with, with no words or whatever. But sometimes that's not the best way. And I feel like that's what's going on here. I don't feel like that is the best way um, in this case. Because I feel like you're going to end up breaking some type of cycle. Uh, not even just with the other person, but with yourself. As far as actually getting out what you want. Because it's going to be a very positive outcome extremely positive outcome here you may end up friends with this person or you two separate y'all end up reconciling you may uh, separate but on on you know good terms y'all just decide to um go your own way but you have no animosity this is something you have animosity towards and i feel like it's simply you just telling them um about themselves or how you're feeling it's it's going to clear up a whole lot and I don't mean like, you know, like I said, in a mean way, but like some things about them that you know are true, okay, that you know is, is what it is. The magician here, I told you, wow, y'all, and the tower is sticking out. You're going to break some type of cycle. The tower and the wheel of fortune here on the bottom. I told you. I knew we were going to see this. I knew this was going to come out. Um, yeah. There's that page of cups again. Yeah. Um. You, you got to do it because I feel like you're going to break some type of cycle. And it could be you have some type of round and round with a person. So it's like whatever you're noticing, Collective, you need to let it be known. You need to let it let this person know. Like every time, so say this is a, um, a connection that's on and off, right? You say every time they, every time you come back, it's it, the same thing happens. It's like whatever you're 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 aware of collective, this person isn't necessarily as aware of it as you are. And some of you guys, you may you may think that this person may uh, take this in a negative way, but that may not be even the case. They may not even take what you're saying in a negative way. They may even start to consider what you're saying, because I'm seeing the outcome is extremely positive um, outside of the. The conflict okay because I'm, I'm definitely seeing a conflict of some sort and I'm definitely seeing like some things that needs to be said like you know and it's and it may be hard to say but you need to say it you need to get it out um, so you can move forward you know energetically and maybe even physically um, you know or you can move forward with this person or however it works out okay because some of you may not want to deal with this person at all um, for others of you, I feel like it's um, you will reconcile with this person after you've gotten everything out uh, in the open. Okay, so just don't be afraid to say that hard stuff because, um, and again, this could be someone coming in, like getting everything out, getting everything off their chest. But you gotta, you have to be able to, to be able to say these things. Um, wow, you guys, let me get one more, one more spirits, one more, one more. Yep. That's what I thought. All right. So we have very likely here on the bottom. Um, we have ballet shoes, very likely, whatever that is, take it however it makes. We have ballet shoes, which is uh, stamina. This is Sagittarius. Stamina, endurance, talent, repetition, effort required. On your toes, honing a skill, laser focus, poise and grace, tread lightly. <laughs> 
balancing act pursuit of arts and expertise so i feel like with this this is like speak your truth but you don't have to be like in it doesn't have to be in a combative way even if it does get a little rowdy um just try your best to keep it at a um a, a good level okay you don't have to get turned up or anything like that because seeing this energy this energy as communication that's kind of a turned up energy okay so just don't let it get too crazy okay um and then we have taurus here of course who's the king of pentacles is here uh this is emerald and this is healing fertility 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 eternity reflection humility sexuality rare peace soul restoration growth strong relationship balance free-flowing love mature love and heart chakra i love that and this what makes sense too especially if you are um communicating effectively and being able to to have those hard conversations and i feel like that's what's going on there's a conversation a hard conversation that needs to be had uh between you and someone okay and i mean you need to really 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 be honest you need to stand up for yourselves and uh, what i feel like this card means is with the don't back down is um this person may try to deny it at first okay but you come with receipts you do whatever you have to do Okay, um, to make them see. For some of you, you're not going to have a whole lot of resistance from this person based on what I'm seeing in the spread. Okay, but you never know. All right, because I'm getting someone that could be a little childish. So there may be some immaturity here. All right, so we have Aries, which is diamond. This is creative force, faithfulness, value, perfection, brilliance, commitment. So more commitment energy, light, purity, esteem, unconquerable force, multidimensional, multifaceted, invincible spiritual power absolutely love it collective thank you for watching y'all hit that like hit that subscribe peace out